Hi everybody. In this video, I want to show you how our updated ChatGPT plugin works. I'll show you what's new and give a general overview of how to set it up. One of the coolest new additions is the live chat option. It lets you transfer the chats from the AI to a human agent when a customer gets frustrated, confused or angry. So before an angry customer would have to find a button or a link or go to a website to fill out the form or get an invoice or something like that. Now they don't have to do that at all. Instruct your bot to react to certain situations. And when it senses a frustrated or angry customer, it's going to transfer the conversation to a human like that. So if you're new, you'll see how you can use this plugin to improve customer communication. And if you already have a chatbot, you'll see what uh, new features this edition of ChatGPT plugin can offer. When you go to ChatFuel, go to the Flows tab right here. Choose your flow or create a new one. I'm going to add a new one just to demonstrate. Then add your ChatGPT plugin. To do so, click a right click here or click here, whatever suits you. Go to integrations and choose ChatGPT. Alternatively, you can just type chat and choose ChatGPT. So first notice that instead of a the whole prompt being in this card, it's now hidden in the card and you only see the number of tokens that uh, you have available and the number of tokens you've spent, so to speak. The rest of the plugin is mostly unchanged, except there is a live chat option that I'm going to talk about in a second. So let's open the settings to see what's there. First of all, we've got this three tabs now. The first one is called intent. The second one is live chat and the third one is prompt preview. Let me show you each one of them, starting with intense. Now, intense is where you will add most of your prompt. Um, it has different user intents you can add and it works in a this question answer kind of way. So you put the idea what the user is going to talk about like a company name, company phone or company description. And then you put your answer what you want the AI to talk about. So for example, if my I'm I own a pet store, uh, I would add my name, I would add my uh, phone number. And, and then some company description. This is a pet store. And that would be my user intents. You can add more if you want to. Next, you've got the additional instructions field. In this field, you teach the AI to talk in the way that you want it to talk. So for example, my mine is a pet store. So I'll say act as a pet store owner, use um, pet slang, so to speak, use animal emojis and let's say be friendly and uh, use short sentences uh, add your instructions here on how you want the AI to behave next let's take a look uh, at the live chat tab now the live chat tab is one of the coolest things added in this update and what it is is the instructions for situations where you want the AI to switch the conversation to a real human. You can see that there is an example, uh, some examples are already here. For example, if the customer is irritated, annoyed, unsatisfied, frustrated, angry, wants to speak to a human manager, a real person, something like that. So you can leave these. These are pretty good instructions and they will fit most of the situations where people are angry or confused and want to talk to somebody real. So add your instructions for situations where you want the AI to transfer the conversation to a human here or leave it as is. Finally, there is a prompt preview. You can't actually add or change anything here. You'll just going to see all of the info you've added to your prompt right here summarized. There's one more thing I want to mention about tokens because ChatGPT remembers 
stuff that people say to it and then uses it in conversations, it needs some tokens for that. So leave some free tokens it can use to remember stuff. Now, that's generally ar around 500 tokens. So if you stay under, let's say, 2,500 tokens, you'll be fine. Just leave 500 tokens for ChatGPT to use for memory purposes. All right, we've got the settings nailed down. Let's take a look on how to use this. So let's say new people are sending messages to your business like so, and they start with this plugin. So first thing we'll need to do after setting up all of the prompt right here is to add the reply uh to save it to so basically we'll need to create a special attribute that's gonna allow us to add chat gpt to different cards you can create any attribute you want i'm gonna name it ai talk so think about it this way your customer comes here and sends a message to your business then this message uh gets processed by chat gpt based on the settings you've added here based on this prompt and next we want to show a text response. So to show a text response, we're going to need a text card. So let's add a text card, collect user data, answers. And in this text, we'll add our special attribute. And then we're going to save this message from our customer to some uh, to another attribute. Let's call it user I've already created it user reply AI and this is because we want to save it to use it later maybe for expert to Google Sheets maybe for some other purposes just to save what they send you might have noticed two connectors for now uh, this is a work in progress and gonna, they're gonna be reworked soon so don't think about it too much just connect both of them it's gonna work out just fine so with this setup you already have your chatbot working and your chat GTP talking to clients based on your prompt. So how do you add a live chat to that? After you add some instructions here in live chat tab, all you need to do is drag this connector and add a live chat card. You can add, uh, you can find it right here. Or again, you can just type chat and add live chat. And that's it. Your chat GTP plugin is now working. Uh, it's talking to customers and you've got your live chat option set up as well. So in case somebody gets frustrated based on your settings in the live chat tab, they'll be sent to live chat. If you've never used live chat before, you can add some settings there by clicking on this card and clicking set up messages. You'll see some settings for your live chat plugin. That's it for the chat GPT plugin. If you need more assistance, uh, if you want to read about everything that we just went through, check out the chat GPT plugin uh, documentation and you'll see all the steps and all the details we've talked about. If you still need help, contact our support team. They'll help you with everything you need. Take care and I'll see you in another video.